This is Keelong's neighborhood. Keelong's not that big, so we can't say we're eating the neighborhood, but we're gonna try and eat as much of Keelong as we can. <laughs> Here goes. First place for dinner is a restaurant called Tian Tian Shan, which means everyday fresh. This place sells the most bizarre form of surf and turf I've ever seen, but let's go try it out. I believe I ordered and a shrimp on rice. I think a chicken leg and a fish steak or something. That sounds like a lot. Oh my gosh. And then I ordered a soup, is he recommended? And an egg. What? I'm, I'm really hungry. We haven't had a problem meal today. I'm proud of myself because I ordered correctly. We've got fish and chicken, which was one order, which I told him I didn't want rice. And then we have crab and pork chop and egg which has rice, and we have bonsai. So, I ordered correctly, but it's just too much. I'm gonna try the fish. It's like rice fish, it's good. The batter is very Taiwanese, it's like that really simple flour dredge with a sort of spice seasoning on it. Okay, let's try the chicken leg. Is it the same? The batter on the outside is the same. No, on the inside you've got really moist, kind of fatty chicken leg, which is really good. I thought it'd be a bit drier than that, but it's actually not. This is the most ridiculous surf and turf. So I'm gonna try the shrimp. It's very small. Slightly battered, but it's a bit sauce pulled over. It's a bit salty. Other place, it's actually pretty flavorful. This one's the pork. The pork is soft, but it still feels like pork. But otherwise, it's still really flavorful. The egg is just the egg, but I'll try it anyway. Fried egg. It's pretty good. And you can't forget the rice. It doesn't have the abundance of pork fat on it, like the one. But the vegetables are quite nice and fresh. And it seems like there's a lot of pickled vegetables as well. It makes it a little healthier at least. You always need a little bit of pickles or sourness to kind of cut through all this fat. So it's getting it. I think it's one of those restaurants with food that is so simple and so obviously and unapologetically unhealthy that you know it's gonna be a good time. If you want to lighten the guilt of ordering that much fried food, the soup was actually an unexpected star of the show. Not too salty, but very flavorful as well. Definitely recommend the chicken leg. And yeah. I personally like the prawn shrimp. It was so fresh that you can actually still feel a bit of grit from the sea. Which is why I don't like it. <laughs> but get in fast because it's really busy and there are queues out the door. Let's see what else Keelong has to offer. We're at a breakfast shop in Keelong. Traditional style breakfast shop. Which sells Chinese breakfast including soy milk, rice rolls and some Chinese yogurt. Let's try the savory soy milk. <laughs> It's a very faint soy flavor. It's more like slightly milky, warm broth soup thing rather than anything too bizarre. Let's try it with the dough thing. It's still warm. They salted it slightly, but it's quite flaky. It's not tough at all. The dough stick is super crispy, and the pancake is super flaky. Mm -hmm. That's what people normally do with dip, the savory yolk with the dough stuff. Just dipping a piece of bread inside your soup, you know, it's satisfying. Mm -hmm. I'll start off with the sweet soy milk, which seems to just be normal soy milk, except they put sugar in as you order. It is a little sweet. It just it tastes like normal soybean milk that we usually get. It's almost smoky. Well, maybe I'm just crazy. Wow. It's like really rounded with almost no soybean flavor. And it's not beany. I like that. We have this gigantic thing for the rice bowl. I don't know what's inside. I don't know what to expect. Uh-huh. That rice 
this is really sticky. The bread inside, that's so crispy. It's actually really flavorful. Carbs and carbs. It's also like bread and oil and salt. It's great. Well, I can see pork floss inside. <laughs> This place is a really good fast breakfast spot and everything is hot. They don't make it to order, but there's such a high turnover of people and a lot of people getting takeaway that everything is still hot and fresh. It was really cheap for that much amount of food. Mm. I found it really satisfying as well. Today's a little chilly and since everything is warm, it made for a really hearty breakfast. Let's see what else Kila has to offer. We're here at a noodle store, which pretty much only sells two things, noodles and wonton. I got us two dry noodles, since that's the most popular noodle dish that you can get. And I also got us a bowl of wonton soup with an egg added. I have the dry noodles without any chili added to it. It's a really nice egg noodle. It's not too eggy, probably more flour noodles than egg noodles. It's a bit soft, not quite chewy. It's perfectly seasoned. It's salted really nicely. So you can pretty much just eat this by itself as it is. I'm actually really happy with this. So simple, but as a breakfast, I have got no problems with it. I put chili sauce on mine, which is what the locals all seem to do, and what was also suggested by the chef. The chili sauce is up. slightly sweet, and very garlicky, and a little vinegary kind of chili sauce. It's not that spicy at all, but there's a different chili sauce which you can add to make it spicier. But I think the combination of the sweet, garlic, and vinegar goes really well with it. There's one thing left to try, the wonton. Mm. It should be the very strong parsley flavor. The meat inside is very soft and very flavorful. Very strong pork flavor with a little bit of pepper and a little bit of sweet won't you? It tastes like their celery. There's a bit of a crunch. I think it might be celery. But it's very refreshing. And I thought it might be a little salty, but it's not. It's good. That was really good. It was so satisfying. And very cheap as well. Honestly, such a good noodle. Perfectly seasoned, very satisfying wonton too. The portions are quite small, so people tend to order one wonton soup and one noodle to themselves. We're here at a curry noodle shop. It seems like curry fried noodles is a big thing in Keelung, so we're trying it out at a little hidden store near a temple, it looks like. But I got us a uh, mixed curry fried noodles. This is so large, but it smells so good. It smells amazing, it smells yeah. Amazing. Let's try the noodles first. Mm. Not as salty as I expected. It does taste like an instant curry spice mix kind of flavor, but it's nice and smoky. And the noodles are really chewy and soft. Should we try the liver? Okay. Mm. It's chewy. It's almost like collagen. I think it's pork. It's very overcooked. But since it's so thin, it's not too bad. Fish cake? Okay. Fish cake. Mm. It's really soft. Maybe a beef bowl? Instagram. 